Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel, DJ and Kid. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Gala. I've literally been DCAing into Gala when the token was like five cents, four cents, and you know, as, as it kept dropping lower as well. And today, I mean, the, the token is trading at literally like one cent. It's ridiculous. And yeah, it's, it's like a perfect opportunity to be buying if you're bullish on the project for the longer term which obviously I am and um, you know that's kind of evident in some of the other videos that I've made as well about Gala but yeah if we take a look at the token today literally trading at um, 0 0.015 so yeah one cent one and a half cents whatever you call it ranked 185 in terms of overall crypto market cap so it's down 5.3 percent in the last 24 hours the market cap at the moment is 118 million, so fairly low for you know for what Gala has to offer. Circulating supply is 7 billion, max supply 50 billion, and total supply is 38 billion. Uh, fully diluted valuation is 700 786 million, so a bit of a you know a disconnect between the current market cap and fully diluted valuation, and that's purely because of the tokenomics. And I feel, I honestly feel like you know. The price of Gala dropping is obviously based on some recent events as well, but also um, also just based on um, the bad tokenomics of Gala, and hopefully they'll be able to sort that out in the longer term. But you know, at the moment, as it stands, you know the tokenomics don't look that great. But if we take a look at Gala and what it's done previously in terms of um, all-time highs and so on, all-time high for this token was 82, um, 82 cents. And currently we're 98% off that value and I'll do some quick calculations towards the end of the video just to kind of give you a um, a view of you know what sort of multiplier we can be looking at if we were to invest at today's prices which is you know so minimal at the moment but in terms of what Gala has um, in its I guess in its stores and what it has in in the background is obviously its games its music nodes, its film nodes, and they continue developing. You know, they, they're constantly developing new games. They're partner, partnering with, you know, new partners. They recently partnered with Steam as well, which is a huge gaming distributor. But if you take a look at their games, uh, just a little bit about what they're looking to offer and what they are offering. So making blockchain games you'll actually want to play. So obviously, good graphics, good games, and um, just overall a, 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 you know, a good experience for the user. Fun first, um, owned by the players, so literally the assets are owned by the players rather than just the gaming industry, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it, it's good. It's good. And here you can see more than 16,000 players run nodes, run nodes power on our ecosystem. So I think these are just relating to only the um, Gala game nodes. 16,000 players are running nodes. And that's a huge amount. It's a huge amount. When you look at some of these statistics, I mean, the statistics are pretty much outrageous. Three million, so our most expensive NFT ever sold. Um, 90 plus team members, 1.3 million monthly active users, 26K um, total NFT sold. And yeah, not many people obviously do take a look at these stats, but literally, um, you know, the, I don't feel like Gala is going anywhere with the number of users that it has um, literally like, you know, using the ecosystem take a look at the store here to see what they're what they've got going on so whenever this loads okay it's just nfts let's go to the games actually so games you can see some of the big games that they've got here so obviously town star spider tanks superior which was the game that was launched on steam um which is huge and um yeah some of the other good games so walking dead i think this is basically a new game that they've literally launched um i don't know if it's got the date there but i did actually see news on the walking dead um you know for on on their twitter um so gala had made an announcement about it but yeah they, they've got some big big games there and obviously big collaborations big brands um that they're collaborating with um because obviously with walking dead you know you need to be um um in some sort of collaboration with the um with the uh I guess with the movie industry if you want to obviously release the game and so on and if we take a look at the music so just a little bit of what they've got going on with their music stuff at the moment um, obviously they've got their nodes and you can start earning rewards on the nodes um, as we speak 
and I think next year there's going to be a token released um, for those, I guess those, we, we, they call them decibels. So those decibels that you earn up, there'll be a token that will be released, um, which will have some sort of value. But here, so Ape Rave, Club X and Gala Music. So that's something new that they've bought out. Just a little bit about, you know, Ape Rave. So you can basically buy these. I think these are, I'm not too sure what they are actually, but um, it might be like a, a, a music track or something like that. But yeah, I haven't really clicked on them. I mean, what I'm basically doing on, on the music side of things is, um, and obviously full disclosure, I've got a node, so I'm running the node and obviously collecting those those decibels um, and just waiting for, um, I guess, those tokens to to be um, launched next year. So this is big, obviously. Snoop Dogg, pretty much leading the way from the music perspective. Death Row Records, it looks like the label is on um, on Garland Music. And there was, a, um, there was also some old school hip hop artists as well um that were on gala so just see if we can find them here can't see him here but it's like snoop dogg ice cube um e40 too short and that, that, that yeah that was just huge when i saw that i was like yeah that that's pretty dope and then from the filming perspective they've got their film nodes as well they've now got some kind of um you know short films it looks like here so animations dramas um just kind of click through the list let's see what's going on action adventure so yeah it looks like you can basically purchase these at the moment so it looks pretty cool and here as well you can run the nodes so you've got a, a film node that you can run as well and um, i believe it will probably end up working similar to how the i guess the music nodes and the game nodes work but yeah big it's big stuff i mean what they're doing literally i haven't seen any other project trying to achieve what gala is looking to achieve which makes me bullish on gala for the longer term and i know right now obviously we're in a bear market the price is not really reflective of where the project is headed i mean the price just keeps tanking but you know i'm i'm, I'm bullish on a project longer term so i'm literally dca and at these prices you know give me gala all day and i'm i'm, I'm buying so yeah I'm, I'm literally buying at the moment Take a look at the graph. I don't really know if there's any point of looking at the graph, to be honest. I mean, there's not really much movement, but I'm looking at the four hourly here. So on the four hourly, you can see pretty much trending downwards, um, kind of ranging within this um, parallel channel, just bouncing up and down off that channel. MACD is bearish as well. And we're currently trading at the lower end of the Bollinger Band. So we might get in the shorter term, that is, might get a bit of a little bit of an upside there and then potentially a drop down further. And if we break this level of um, resistance, the 0 0.015, then um, yeah, we're probably headed down to other lower levels. I'll need to go back probably quite a long way back in the in the chart to see what levels we'll end up hitting next. But yeah, if we do break that um, that was um, support level, sorry, if we do break the support, then um, yeah, we'll probably end up heading um, heading further down there, which. In, in, in all honesty, I think is probably the most likely scenario. I think we'll head down a little bit more before we do end up, um, you know, going to the upside again. So, but, you know, as I said, I'm bullish on the project longer term. So I'm literally DCA and, and obviously it's just purely my opinion. Nothing that I say in the videos um, is financial advice. So just please do your own research before you look to invest. But I did pull some numbers together. So if I just quickly pull this in. Um, so here we can see, I just put some, um, let's put this like this actually. So here we can see, um, let's pull that in. So Gala price today um, is at 1 point, well 0 0.015. All time high was um, 82 cents. And obviously if we do go back to that all time high, the multiplier that we'll be looking at, so the, um, the um, I guess the X's that we'll be looking at is, is a 52X. And um, yeah, that's a huge amount. Realistically, is that possible? I'm not too sure to be honest, but you know, it. You never know with the crypto with the crypto space. Um, you know, it could be possible that we could 50x our money again to um, the um, 82 cents level. So I've also then done some other quick calculations. So current market cap is 118 mil. Um, supply is obviously seven bill. Gala price today is is the same as the above there. The all-time high market cap that we saw for Gala was roughly 5.4 billion. 
So assuming that no further tokens, obviously we know that tokens will be released into the ecosystem, but if we assume no further tokens were to be released, um, then um, the price at that all time high market cap based on the current circulating supply will be 72 cents, which is a 46 X from current prices. But in a realistic world, we know that, um, you know, supply will be released to the ecosystem and obviously in a bull run as well. We don't expect to see, um, you know, the market cap remaining at previous high um, bull runs. Most likely scenario will be that that market cap ends up probably doubling. So we'll be looking at probably 10 billion, 15 billion, who knows. But just to put it into perspective, you know, you could easily look to be seeing um, a 20 to 50x. 50x is obviously the best case scenario. A 20x um, is kind of my minimum, um, kind of, yeah, my most, that's kind of like the minimum that, that I think we'll see in terms of um, the, the multiplier on Gala if we were to buy at today's prices, which is why I'm literally loading up. Because I still believe 20x is, um, is, is pretty good. 20, 30, 40x, you know, whatever it may be. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm bullish. Like I said, I'm bullish on the project. Um, I love Gala. I love what they're doing at the moment. Love the ecosystem. Love how they're building the partnerships, bringing the artists on. And um, yeah, with their, with their nodes and their gaming experiences as well. It, look, it looks like everything is pretty much for the users rather than just, I guess, the one single industry like a gaming industry or music industry or whatever so um yeah mega bullish on that but yeah guys hit me up on the comments below let me know what you think about gala and um yeah let me know if you're buying or not and hit that like hit that subscribe and i will catch you in the next video peace out